Hi guys, welcome to the fourth Moment Weekly Roundup. My name is Shami, with me as usual is Andrew Paquino. And this is where we try to bring you results of local Cape Town football. Obviously this weekend we just had the Coke Cup, which is probably the first thing we're going to talk about, Andrew. Yeah, yeah, listen, it was Coke, Coke quarterfinals, big results, big games. Yeah, we're going to get through it in detail now, Shami. And also a few LFAs finished this season. Yeah. And, and we've got some nice league winners now. We can start talking about teams going to playoffs. Yep. So yeah, it's been a busy weekend in Cape Town football. Talking about the Coke, and I think we're going to start with the Coke. Um, I think some surprises for some people. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you want to go through the results? Yeah, I think let's start with the under-18. I think there were a yeah. couple of shocks there. Uh, Matrus Fontaine, two Cape Town Pirates, one. We anticipated yeah. Matrus Fontaine. Matrus, very yeah. nice team. Uh, Willows beating Grassy Park, 4-2 yeah. on penalties after being 1-1. Yeah. Shama, we, we thought Grassy Park, you know, they'd beaten Ubuntu the previous round. They yeah. won a run. We thought they'd be the team to look out for in the Coke. And now Willows, you know, as I say, put a punk chain to the tire. That's good. That's good. Do we know much about Willows? Yeah, I, I saw them play at Roy Crowns, a very nice team. Mm. They play nice football. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think they're going to start causing another surprise in the next round, maybe, and being in the yeah. final. And that's, that's what's so fantastic about this local football, you know, anybody can win. Yeah, and always like new clubs. Last year we had Seaside in the senior division yeah. coming through and Clover. Mm. Now we've got Willows in the under-18. Yeah. And then you called the channel, you said Olana Academy, very strong under-18 team. Yeah, Olana, okay. Olana Academy 2, Jomo's no. Yeah. Jomo's, Jomo's also on a good run, but yeah. Yeah, listen, they, they hit, they hit uh, Olana on, on form. Yeah. And then the game that was played uh, on Tuesday night, Cape Town Spurs 3, Lenik no. Okay. So Cape Town Spurs into the, semi, into the semifinals yeah. now. Uh, and I think heavy favourites, Yamil. Yeah, I think they probably uh, favourites to win the whole thing. Yeah. Ladies, there were two ladies games played. Uh, Cape Town Roses, 10. Strand, Kazi, oh. Queens, no. Yeah. It's a bit of a hammering there. Mm. The big game that we also previewed last week, Salt River, Blackpool, no. Magic Ladies, two. Yeah. Good result for Magic Ladies. Yeah, Salt River's run coming to an end there. But mm. uh, I'm sure they would have had a lot of good experience from the whole experience. Magic Ladies. In for a shot there. Yeah, nice team. Yeah. Very nice team, Magic Ladies. Remember, them, them and UCT were vying. Yeah. And, you know, we're going to get to that that other league later. Yeah. Uh, UWC, no. Hanover Park, three in the seniors. We anticipated Hanover Park to win that game comfortably, mm -hmm. which they did. Weinberg St. John's, no. Goulburn, no. And then Goulburn beating them 4-2 on penalties. Yeah. Ponte Yevo representing Shamil, Metropolitan LFA in the yep. semi-finals of the Coke. Well done to Goulburn there. Yeah, it's good to, it's good to have community clubs mm -hmm. getting far, Shamil. Mm -hmm. Deodora, defending champions, champions and favorites for this year. Deodora 4, Lavender Hill 1. Yeah. Lavender Hill's run coming to an end. Mm. Once again, Lavender Hill doing very, very well. Mm -hmm. And somebody told me on Sunday, Sharma, it's the second year in a row that Deodora's beaten them. Oh, so well, maybe yeah. it's an omen for Deodora. <laughs> and then the last result. Everybody from Mitchell's plane was expecting Westridge yeah. to be at home mm -hmm. for the semi final. Unfortunately, they didn't make it through. Hazendahl won, Westridge won, and Hazendahl beating them 4-3 on penalties. Yeah. So, big result for Hazendahl. So, how does it look? So, the semi-final, Shamil, this weekend, Westridge is the place to be. Okay. Uh, there's still two ladies' fixtures that must be played on Friday night. Sure. To enter, you know, to, for the ladies' section. For the ladies' section. Um, and then we will know who is playing who. Yeah. So, as it currently stands, Sunday... I'm going to give the times as well for those of you who are planning on getting your Sunday lunches and your cooler boxes ready. 11 o'clock on Westridge A, Matros Fontaine versus Willows, under 18 game. The other under 18 semi final, Cape Town Spurs versus Ulana. That's I think cool. that yes. is the game to watch. I, you know what, Andrew? Both games are actually oh. good games. 11 o'clock? 11 o'clock. A, you got Matros Willows. B, Cape Town Spurs, Ulana. Sunday the 24th. It's the place to be. Hold there, Shamil. I'll tell you why. The ladies' fixtures. Hmm. First one, A-Field, 1 o'clock. Magic Ladies versus Cape Town Roses. <laughs> <laughs> Engine Champions, uh, yeah. Cape Town Roses, Magic yeah. Ladies on the run. It's going to be one hell of a semi-final. I'm going to say Cape Town Roses. <sighs> I don't want to call. I'm gonna I don't want to call. I'm going to be bold enough to make that call. I think when it gets to semi-final, anybody can beat anybody, Shamil. <laughs> and then we have the game between Dangerous Heroes and Haderfeld Female Football Academy Friday night. We also have UCT playing Friday night against RV. Okay. The winners of those games will play each other on Sunday in the other semi-final. Okay. Then we have the Meniers, the seniors, three mm. o'clock kickoff, Westridge A. Hanover Park versus Goulburn. Okay. Two big community clubs from Definitely. big areas, big supported mm. teams. Shamil, whew, you know, my heart is always at Hanover Park. <laughs> uh, but, you know, like I said, semi-final, anybody, anybody can beat any, yeah. anybody. Sure. But I still think Hanover Park are favorites there. Okay. And then the team trying to make it an all Hanover Park final. 
Theodora versus Hazendahl. Last year's champion. <sighs> Charmiel. Can, can show, uh, coach Shits do it again. Charmiel, yeah, you know, I've always thought this Hazendahl team is now getting to the stage where they're going to be beaten, yeah. where they're going to be... I thought Westridge was going to do it. Didn't yeah. happen. The previous round, they came through as well. Very, very solid team. Well yeah. coached. Um, they fight. They work hard. It's not going to be easy for Diodora. Mm. Um, and yeah, listen, Westridge is the place to be Sunday. I think uh, get out there in your droves. It's semi-final day. After this, Destination Athlone. Athlone Stadium. Yeah, guys, so that's the results uh, of the Co Cup, which uh, took place last weekend at those various venues. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll see you there this Sunday, the 24th of September at Westridge. Okay, we're going to go into the LFAs. And uh, Andrew, you know when you, I don't know, when you went to school, you used to do corrections. Yeah, Shamil. Right, for maths or whatever. Uh -huh. So we need to do a correction. I'm a bit worried about this. <laughs> yeah, okay. So last week. So sorry, when you do a correction means you made a mistake. Yeah, but I don't okay. think we made the mistake. No, no, no. We're no, only reporting on what we get. Somebody made Somebody, a there was a mistake made somewhere. Okay. So we're going to jump to Cape, um, Cape District LFA. So obviously last week, as if you recall, if you guys watch the show every week, uh, we were talking about Salt River, FC, Cavter, and, and uh, Ashford Athletic. So yeah, it seems there was sort of a, a double entry uh, on the log last week. So the log does sure. look a bit different. Okay. But the same sort of as last week. Because now okay. we're a week ahead. Okay. okay. So top of the log. He Salt River Blackpool. No games taken place at Cape District this weekend. Uh, rained out on Saturday. Salt River Blackpool, top of the log at the moment, with uh -huh. 40 points. Uh -huh. And then FC Kefta in second with 19 games played, 40 points. And then Ashford now in third with 18 games played, 37. So very similar to last week, okay. but different. And are still in similar Ashford's hands. If they win the games in the end, they'll be top. They'll okay. be top, yeah. Okay. So we'll see what happens at Cape District. So obviously no results here. So we're looking at the fixtures. Um, Wesley versus Montague Spurs this Saturday at William Herbert. FC Kefta versus Grossy Park. That's going to be a tough game. game. Obviously Kefta will want to win that game yeah. uh, and possibly win the, the, the league there. And then, uh, well, the match won't win them the league, but stay in touch for winning yeah, the sure. league. Um, Eagle Wings versus Batswood, Ocean View versus Clearwood, and Southampton versus Salt River. And we cannot forget Greenwood versus Ashford, Charmel. That's a big game. Definitely. Saturday. Yeah. Ashford also game. need to win. Yes, they will. They will, they will need to win. Then uh, there's double header this weekend at uh, William Herbert okay. or at Cape District. Wesley versus Crossy Park. Kefter versus Greenwood. Ooh, big weekend for Greenwood. Paris Atletico versus Ashford. That's also a tough Ooh, game. Tough I'll game. You, I don't know what's going to happen after this weekend. Where the this log is going to I think sit. we're going to know who's going to win a channel after this weekend. Eagle Wings versus Clearwood. Salt River versus Montague Spurs. And Southampton versus Ocean View. So, yeah, a pretty tight day Cape District at the moment. I don't think it's been this tight for a while. So, no. well done to all the teams competing there. So, yeah, hopefully next weekend we'll have a better idea of who's actually going to take it. Okay. Mitchell's playing. Oh, big weekend in Mitchell's playing. So I'm at Westridge, obviously. Yeah, the game on Saturday play. didn't take place. Oh. So here are the results from Saturday. Cedar Park 2, Beacon Spurs 3. Mm. Beacon Spurs, Shamil. Yep. Gonna run. FC Tafelsuch 2, MA Colville 1. Juventus 4, Ikapa 1. Lentegeer 2, Syringa Spurs 3. Good result for Syringa Spurs. Yeah, that's a good result. The knock that... that Basically put Liverpool Portlands out of the title contention. Liverpool Portlands, no Beacon City won. A Beacon City, Sharmil. Mm. Upset after upset now. A big result. Milano three, Mowgli's one. Rockefellers one, Bale one. Mm. And then the game on Sunday, which put the nail into Liverpool Portlands title contention and actually rejuvenated FC Tafelsucht. Okay. FC Tafelsucht two, Liverpool Portlands one. So what does the log look like now, Sharmil? We've got two games left that I can't tell everyone. Top of the log of the 28 games was 66 points is Westridge. Okay. Maybe it's a bit of consolation after they being knocked out of the coke. <laughs> also on 28 points, sorry, of the 28 matches with 62 points is FC Tafelsuk. So, so FC Tafelsuk are four points behind with two games to go. Liverpool Portons are third on 54, so they're out of it now. So it's Westridge and FC Tafelsuk, Sharmil. Yeah. So how, how do things look now that we know that that is... What it's going to be, Shamil. Yeah, whatever. And I think the most important thing to realize, Shamil, is that I don't have fixtures for this weekend, seem to be. Okay. So I can't even speculate. <laughs> but I know the top two are not playing each other. Oh, they're not. So we okay. will know next week Shortly. when we meet <laughs> and we have our show, the people of Mitchell's Plain will know who their champion is. Barring any boardroom decisions yes that's one thing i've learned with all these uh, i can tell you when we get to cape town tiger Berg, when we get to cape town tiger Berg, there's some board there's decisions. Also there. yeah. so all these leagues that we're going over we gotta wait and see i think 
until that uh, log gets signed off. Until yeah. the LFA has officially put a letter to say this is the winner, yeah. like one or two LFAs have done, that's it. Then it's fine. Okay, so yeah, the one LFA that has completed their league is uh, Langa uh, Nabini. Um, so yeah, we've got Flamingo Stars, they are uh, going to the playoffs, Andrew. Okay. Um, and second there was Computer Stars and then Lion City. So well done to Flamingo. Um, yeah, we'll see you at the playoffs. Yeah, we'll definitely see you at the playoffs. And another league at finish time was Mannenberg. I know last week was the first time we discussed Mannenberg. Mm. And I think this is a feel-good winner champion. A feel-good winner champion? Yeah. Oh, okay. Tottenham Football Club. Yeah. Tottenham Football Club winning the Mannenberg Premier League by one point Sharma last game of the season on wow. Sunday. They won. Big ups to them. For those mm. of you who don't know the story, they lost uh, their chairman, chairman and they yeah. lost their coach, um, you know, very, very sadly mm. at a football field. Um, and they are now champions. They will be representing Mannenberg LFA in the playoffs. And I'm sure that they'll have their own supporters after them, especially after the tragedy yeah, that they've I'm sure, had. I'm sure. Then uh, we're going to Northern. So there have been the was matches played uh, over the past weekend. Just go through that results quickly. Bishop Lavers uh, won Belleville United 2 1. Blue Down Spurs beating B Bellows Spurs 1 0. Wow. Spurs and Blue and Blue. Stung <laughs> Buster, yeah. But Rosfontein losing 2 3 to Bellstar United. Ravens Mead beating United 2 1. And Riverside Rangers on the winning streak there. Beating Valhalla, 1-0. No. So that's a good result for them. And then UWC losing 3-1 to the log leaders, Eastern Rovers. So, yes, as I said, log leaders, still Eastern Rovers. Riverside still in second spot there. Still one match less played by Riverside. So Eastern Rovers, 21 matches played with 43 points. And then Riverside, 20 matches played with 40 points. Wow. Um, in third spot, there is Bishop Lavers. Played two matches less, Andrew. 18 okay. points, 18 matches uh, on 36 points. So, yeah, all to play for there at Northern in the top three. Okay, brilliant. Cape Town Tigerberg is over. Oh, Ladies and course, gentlemen, we have a champion. <laughs> I'm not going to surprise you with who it is because you know, you, if you've been watching the show, you know who's yeah. been top of the log since week one. Edgemead were crowned champions this weekend, Charmel. That's true, really since week one. Since week one, Edgemead have been on top. Been? It's been 30 weeks now where they've got two games to go, so 30 yeah. weeks. Congratulations to Edgemead Football Club. They were representing Cape Town Tigerberg. Yeah. And I can tell you now there's no boardroom decision. They're 17 points clear. It's not going to happen. Okay. They're the winners. They beat Rechersdal 3-2 on Saturday to tough. become champions. That's tough. 3-2. Vasco da Gama losing 3-0 away at Norway Parks. Oh, okay. Gave the title to Edgemead. Yeah. Edgemead then went on Sunday and played Vasco da Gama and beat them 1-0 just to prove that they are champions. <laughs> so congratulations to Coach Put Purdy. Coach Purdy and, you know, the ex-co of mm. Edgemead. And we wish them all, the well, all well in the playoffs. Just some other results quickly. Table view one, Durbanville null, affecting bottom of the table. Mm -hmm. Durbanville still in the relegation zone. And then I'm just going to pick a few others. Yeah. Uh, you know, Kales River drew 2-2 two -two with Durbanville. Sharma. We saw that was a big cup final for the relegation. relegation yeah. uh, there's been a couple of DC hearings, Sharmel, so I'll explain that to you when we get to the log now. Uh, and then Saxon Rovers beating Greenpoint Salesians 1-0. Oh, that was also a tough one for and that And that has had a huge effect on the log channel. Mm. So let me let me go through the log here before I get to the fixtures for this weekend because we are now going to be looking at the bottom of the table for the fixtures this weekend, Charmel. Yeah. So top of the log with 82 points, Edgemead. Mm. Congratulations to Edgemead. Second, Vasco de Gama on 65. I want to focus on the bottom of the log. Kensington are relegated, which means there's two more to come down. After 30 games on 23 points is Durbanville. Okay. After 30 games at 25 points is Kales River. Yes, last week we discussed Kales River out of the relegation zone. Yeah. They were deducted six points in the DC hearing. So they're now oh, on 25. Okay. Sure. After 30 points on 28 is Greenpoint Solutions. So they are three points ahead of Kales River. Mm. And Saxon Rovers after 29 games are on 31. So Saxons need one need one win in the last three games to be so safe. So Saxon is better off now than what they were last, last week. Last week, correct. Is, Greenpoint is not. It is down. Yeah. And Carroll's River on 25, Dermaville on 23, with two games to go, Greenpoint on 28. Why am I saying that? Saturday is the final, final, relegation final. Relegation final. Carroll's River versus Greenpoint. Finals. Greenpoint at home to Carroll's River, Sharmel. Oh, okay. Big game. They must win. Must win for Carroll's River. If Carroll's River lose, they are relegated. They have to win. If Greenpoint, they draw, then Greenwood, Green, oh, Greenwood, Greenpoint is safe. Greenpoint will be safe and yeah. Kelsover will be relegated. Okay. So that's the big game. It's a must win three points for Kelsover away to Greenpoint. Never easy. Mm. Um, Durbanville, they are playing table view at home, Charmel. Okay. Uh, so Durbanville need to win their last two games and pray that Kelsover beats mm. uh, Greenpoint Salesians and Kelsover lose their last game to yeah. Vasco da Gama. Yeah. So it's a double header weekend. Kelsover's last two games are Greenpoint away, Vasco da Gama at home. Okay. Durbanville is table view at home. Mm. 
and the league winners Edgemead at home. So what do Edgemead have to fight for? Don't know. That's so Saturday is a big one. If Tableview beat Durbanville, they are relegated. But what I can tell you, Shamo, there are still a couple more DC cases to come. So oh, things no. could change. <laughs> so oh, no, a big weekend no. for Cape Town Tigerberg. Once again, congratulations to Edgemead. Okay, one of the leagues that's not done yet is Rygate. I've just got the, some of the well, I've got the log standings here. South end, top of the log there with 68 points. And then Hazendal in second spot with Ooh. 23 matches played, 63 points. So they're in the running for that league also, Andrew. Yep. Heath Athletic in third with 51 points away off there. And then uh, if I can just jump to South Peninsula. So we know the story with South oh. Peninsula between Wanderers and Lavender Hill. Like Rangers and Celtic in Scotland, <laughs> two teams. And guess what? All I can say is the match between Wanderers and Lavender Hill is taking place on Saturday. Oh, awesome. Three o'clock. Roy Three Crunch. o'clock. Yep. Roy Crunch. Oh, that's a place Lavender to be. Hill versus Wanderers. 3.30 p.m. kickoff at Roy Crunch. And what does the log say, Shamil? Right. So the log is Wanderers, 21 matches played, 59 points. Lavender Hill, 21 matches played, 57 points. So Wanderers need a draw to win the league. Basically, yeah. Woo! That's so, the yeah. place to be. I remember last year, Jamil, when that game, it was a full house at Roy Crunch. Yeah. So I'm sure all the Lavender Hill and Wanderers supporters will be out there again on yeah, Saturday. Guys, if you're in the Grossi Park area, I mean, that is a, a very good match to go cool. have a look. I mean, we'll have uh, teams going out there, players with pride, with sure. everything to play for. So, yeah, um, I'm sure it's going to be a very uh, tough and physical encounter <laughs> with both teams taking there, taking part there. But, yeah, that's that's what's happening. And there will be lots of cooler boxes, Sharmel. Definitely. you. Definitely. And then, Sharmel, I just want to highlight something that, that happened on Saturday which was a prestigious occasion. What happened on Saturday? UCT have won the right to represent us. Oh, yes, of course. They were Sasso League yes. winners. They have won the right to represent yeah. our region in the playoffs yeah. for the Hollywood bets. Yeah. Congratulations to UCT. They beat Dangerous Heroes 2-1 that was right there. at Poplar Avenue at Thornton, mm. Santos' home ground. Yeah. So congratulations, UCT, Coach Parker and yeah. his technical team. We wish you guys mm. all the best in the playoffs. Definitely. Commiserations to Dangerous Heroes. Mm. And, you know, we hope that UCT can get through, Sharma. We need another Hollywood bets team in the Cape Town. Definitely, definitely, definitely do. Andrew, have you got anything else? That was it, Sharma. Guys, I think before we go, we want to say a big congrats to all of those teams that have won the league. We're looking forward to see you at the playoffs, as we said. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's a lot of sacrifice, a long season. Andrew, um, rain and load shedding and <laughs> it's a lot of stuff to consider a lot of the teams cool. not actually training but we're going to say well done to those guys and uh, yeah we look forward to see the, to seeing the other league winners yeah. of the other LFAs and then uh, just before we go also uh, Super Cup 2023 is taking place the 3rd to the 5th of November yeah. we're getting a lot of inquiries sure so um, yeah the posters are going out uh, this week but guys, it's the criteria is you have to be a league winner of your LFA under 16 in the top league. So yeah. if, like in your Super League or the highest league in the LFA. Yeah. And then also we look at knockout winners and finalists in that age group's competition. So if a team has won in another under 16 tournament, that will fill a criteria also. If they win the knockout, that will fill a criteria yeah. and also the finalists. Yeah, so that's sort of the criteria because a lot of people have been asking, we're mm. getting calls from uh, the UK, uh, <laughs> out of the country, uh, yeah, everywhere. And I think, Sharma, what we'll do and, and what our viewers uh, can anticipate is us going into a bit more detail on the teams that have qualified from next yeah. week onwards and cool. just to build up. And, you know, we'll have the draw. We'll give you those draw dates and everything. Mm. So please follow our Facebook pages. Yeah. And please also comment, Sharmil, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Definitely. Uh, we'd really like, uh, there were some nice comments over the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Keep them coming. <laughs> And you can give the not so nice ones also. They will know where to improve. Yeah, no, no, definitely, yeah, definitely. Like, and we, I mean, like, can see we correct our mistakes <laughs> with corrections. Yeah, with corrections. Guys, yeah, so we're gonna say big up to Vecchio for uh, sponsoring us our apparel and helping us get yeah. the content out. Also, GSM Roofing, uh, yeah, for doing the same. And uh, yeah, be sure to support the sponsors, guys. They're putting back into local football. Yeah. And yeah, from my side, uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>